welcome everybody. I'm Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. I've got the flu. I don't normally sound like this, but um, this is the reality today. So it's going to be a short one today. Okay, let's go to the board. Here we go. So just pick a number now, one to five, and I'll do a psychic tarot interpretation. We're doing number one, card number one. Close my eyes. A lot of chains here I can see that are falling off you, number one. You're about to be liberated. Freedom is coming. Okay, the card that comes up for you is da, 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 the Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning, probably around your money or your possessions. Sometimes, you know, um, I have heard of people interpreta uh, interpreting um, pentacles as relating to the body. So this could also mean new vitality coming through as well. But the, the normal consensus is that um, it's to do with money. There's some sort of portal here that you'll go through some sort of process and come out on the other side much more um, uh, clearer thinking. See, there's all these clouds in the background at the moment. These are cloudy thoughts, worries, confusion, fears. But these are passing and the blue skies are coming. So you'll have some brilliant ideas about how to improve your financial situation. Number two. Number two, what do I see? Close my eyes. Um, there's a saying here, but I can't quite get it. Uh, but it's like parchment wrapped up, coiled up, and then set a flame like a wick. So the fire has started. Uh, it's maybe some sort of creative fire because it's burning words on parchment. Uh, so you might be filled with inspiration to write in some way or at least communicate. Okay, so the card that comes up for you is the seven of cups this is um can be indica uh, can be interpreted oh, having trouble talking can be interpreted i don't know what this interpreted is i've never said that before in my life interpreted as reaching out for spiritual attainment okay so uh it's like by reaching searching calling to spirit you're getting there uh, it can also be uh, read as um, setting appropriate boundaries with people, um, saying no, but it tends to be more on the positive side. So I tend to go more with the reaching out for spiritual attainment type of message. And it's just about you being a truth seeker. Okay, that's number two. Number three, what do I see? Wow. Um, you're the center and everything. You're like the center of the wheel, the hub. Everything comes off you. And uh, you might feel a lot of people sort of grabbing your attention at the moment. You may, ha may have to decide what you attend to. You might not be able to attend to everything simultaneously. Uh, it's quite busy and active. You might need to set some boundaries yourself. The card that comes out is the Nine of Cups. It's all about your hopes and dreams, sending them out into the universe. The universe hears all. So the, your energetic signature, um, your thoughts, what you say, what you do. Okay, It's important to be grounded and practical about your hopes and dreams. There's no point in hoping and dreaming for things that are just impossible. Okay? And people say, well, you don't know what that is. I say, well, it depends on what your hopes and dreams are. If I dream I'm going to be the President of the United States, it's not grounded in practical reality because I'm not even American. So how can I be the President? You know, the rule is they must be born there. So some hopes and dreams are not possible. Um, and that's why it's important to be practical about it. Stay in touch with your subconscious you can certainly do a lot better um, in having hopes and dreams. I'm not poo-pooing hopes and dreams. I'm just saying be practical with it, okay? Uh, so the universe is hearing your hopes and dreams. Send your order out. 
It's like going to a restaurant, you put your order in and you have to wait for your meal to come. It isn't necessarily, you know, done immediately. <laughs> a lot of things sometimes have to fall into place before you get your order. Number four. Number four, what do I see? Oh, what is this? Um, oh, okay, the pliers hanging up. It's like a tool kit. Uh, and so it's about fixing things. Uh, there could be some small items, um, domestic type items to be fixed at home, okay? But you could also take it symbolically and say that you're fixing yourself symbolically as well. Number four, okay. The card that comes out is the Knight of Wands. Okay, we're getting a fair bit of wands, not in this reading, but earlier today for Facebook. I did have a lot of wands coming up, which is quite a creative, um, uh, cre very creative, motivational uh, kind of energy. And the Knight of Wands is typically someone who's younger, maybe not as experienced. And um, it might be, an, you might feel like you're on an unknown path. You don't know where you're headed. Maybe your direction's not clear. But you're getting there slowly, okay? He's on the tortoise. There's some growth here with it. Uh, travel might be on your mind. But usually these pyramids relate to the chakras. So your chakras opening up. And, um, you know, it's like more energy coming through. Uh, to indulge in some sort of level of adventure. Sometimes this can mean a uh, possible change in residence as well. Okay, so that's number four. You would have to do a full reading on that to get that kind of level of specificity uh, because the card on its own doesn't mean that you're going to relocate uh, but it does mean that there's a lot of motivation or inspiration and um, it's saying you're moving forward, maybe slower than you would like, but you're still getting there. Number five. Number five is live. Let's see. I want to go with that one and I'll close my eyes. The clouds in the sky. Um, I was going to call this pastel colours, but they're bright pastels, blues and greens. It's about communication, self-expression. It's about growth. Uh, and the colours are quite vibrant, but still they gel together. The blue and green together it looks quite good. I always think I've got blue and green on today. Um, and so it's communicating about those things that you love or that you've got some sort of emotional investment in. The card that comes up, see here's the blue and green. Uh, she's got a blue bow tie and we've got the green here, the green leaves and the growth. Okay, the page of wands, here it is again, wands bringing good news. Uh, and um, it's, again, it's often somebody young or inexperienced, it could be a part of you or could be somebody you know, a child or a relative, perhaps, you know, teens, uh, early 20s, that sort of thing. And... Um, there's some sort of spiritual energy around this. So you could have information come to you via a young person uh, that has some sort of spiritual significance or you might hear about a young person, some news that has some sort of spiritual uh, significance. Okay, so that's number five. So we've got pentacles, cups, cups, wands, wands. Okay, so the overall... Um, view is you know there's some emotions coming through it seems to be more positive this week some creativity uh, inspiration and motivation okay so that's it thank you so much for joining me I'm sorry it's so short I just my voice is really short um, yeah if you do have any flu-like symptoms make sure uh, that you get some medical attention it is the most terrible flu I don't think it's flu anymore I think it's changed so radically now that um, you know we're calling it flu but I don't think it is <laughs> consider a flu shot that's what I'm going to have I've never had one before but I'm going to have one when I get over this thanks for listening and if you're new subscribe and be alive I'll see you all again soon uh, thanks and bye for now 
Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website, absolutesoulsecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website.